Guppy. Guppies are one of the most popular freshwater aquarium species. They are highly adaptable fish and therefore require less care than other species. The females are typically grey, while the males can have strikes or splotches of a variety of colors. They are some of the easiest fish to breed because they take no coaxing from you. Just put them in a separate tank and they will do the rest. Also, if your goal of fish breeding is to produce a lot of baby fish, especially over time, then a guppy could be the right choice for you, once inseminated, too. The female guppies can store the sperm and use it to continue to fertilize over for up to 8 months. That means even if the father is removed from a tank, the female can continue to produce fry. Mollies. Mollies are hardy, highly adaptable fish which make them easy pets for beginner aquarists. They also produce a lot of babies. In pet stores, many molly. S will be pregnant in the tank because they procreate so frequently without assistance from aquarists. Because they are such high fry producers, they are often used as live feed for carnivorous fish. The fry can start eating pellet food or algae in the tank right away. Platys. Platys come in a wide variety of bright rich colors. They are hardy and non-aggressive. The babies they produce are a little smaller than those of the molly or sawtail species. So they are a bit harder to raise to maturity. They don't take much convincing to produce fry, they can often come from pet stores already pregnant. If they aren't already pregnant. Generally one male to two or three females is a healthy ratio in a tank, since it will reduce aggression in the males and stress in the females, and will likely produce fry. A female can birth around 20 to 50 fry. Sawtails. Sawtails are actually related to platys. They come in a variety of bright colors, and the males are easily distinguishable by their sword-like tails. They're non-aggressive, so they're a great addition to a passive community tank. The females can produce babies typically once every 28 days. To keep the aggression of the males low, keep their numbers low, like the platy. A ratio of one male to three females is perfect for fish breeding. Convict cichlids. Convict cichlids, somewhat larger than most of the above named live bearers, are nice looking fish with about 8 vertical strikes on a grey blue body. To get them to breed, all you generally need is a male and female in the same tank with adequate water supply and feeding. The wonderful thing about convicts is that they are great parent. S. Both the mother and father will take care of the eggs by moving their tails to give the eggs more oxygen, as well as guard them against predators. Killerfish. Killerfish are a great addition to a tropical tank, if you don't have bigger fish that will consider them prey. They're peaceful and hardy, though they do like a heavily planted tank. They're beautiful and vibrantly colored. Kimis breed in two ways, there are annual breeders and non-annual breeders. The annual type will bury their eggs in sand. And the eggs should be kept moist before they hatch in one to four months. The non-annual type are fairly easy to breed, and will attach their eggs to a spawning mop. Killerfish generally live long enough to only breed once. Zebra Daniel Zebra Daniels have horizontal blue stripes on their bodies. They are generally 4 cm long. If you put a male and female together they will likely breed. Though they will eat their young. Breeders can use marbles so the eggs are hidden from the adults, or a breeding net. The great thing about zebra daniels is the eggs hatch quite quickly, about two days after they are laid. The babies are almost transparent and very tiny, so you need to watch for them carefully, keep them separate from filters that might suck them up, and feed them food that is small enough for them to eat. Rosy barbs. Rosy barbs are, like their name suggests, a rosy pink color. The males have some black markings in their fins. The juvenile ones are duller in color, but as they mature. 
and especially during breeding times, they become more vibrant. Rosy barbs grow to be about 4 inches long. They're peaceful, hardy, and well-suited to community aquariums, like the zebra dunnies. The eggs will hatch in only about 2 days.